California Republican Congressman, that man right there, Devin Nunes, has filed a $150 million defamation lawsuit against McClatchy newspapers, accusing reporters of trying to derail his oversight work on the Clinton campaign and interference from Russia. A couple of the reporters there were the biggest uh, perpetuators of the Russia hoax. And so part of the lawsuit here is not only that you know they need to retract everything that they did against me, but they also need to come clean with the American people, retract all of their fake news stories. So if you're out there and you lied and you defamed, uh, we're going to come after you. So here to weigh in is Fox News senior judicial analyst and host of Liberty File himself on Fox Nation, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, he is confident. He's loaded for bear. Does he have a case? I don't think he does. But Why? again, it's, it's going to be fact sensitive. He, here's what he says they did. He says that they actually doctored things, that they put him in a photo that he really didn't appear in, and that they mysteriously changed the headline, and that their purpose was to smear him. Now, look. The, the headline was, a yacht, cocaine, prostitutes, winery, partly owned by Nunes. Correct. Sued after fundraiser event. And Nunes said, eh, you should have put in charity. Right. Right. I mean, he 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 claims that he had nothing to do with any cocaine and nothing to do with any uh, any prostitutes. And there's no reason to disbelieve him on that. But his argument is that they did this in order to I interfere with his effectiveness when he was the chair of the House Intelligence Committee. Now, what's the standard? The standard when a public person like Brian Kilmeade or any of us who's on television every day or a member of Congress mm -hmm. is bringing a defamation suit, that person has to show that the defendant, the person you're suing, published a knowing falsity published it and they knew it was false at the time they published it or that they were reckless in their concern for truth or falsehood. That standard is such a high bar. We're talking before the break. Is he going to win? I said, I don't think so. Really the standard is so because high a public figure. because the public figures never win. They sometimes get concessions. They sometimes get corrections. And that's really what he wants. I don't think he wants the $150 because I don't think he expects he's going to get it. The rules require you to state how much money you're looking for. Uh, he's also he also wants right. to publicize this so that people like us will focus on aspects of our colleagues in the in the media who are doing shenanigans, not reporting and not opining, but but creating things. We all know this happens sure. to make somebody look bad. But this is like the Covington, Kentucky kid who is now suing, you know, the Washington Post and other people. They say, look, I wasn't a public figure and I was maligned. I think that kid became a public figure, but without getting in, getting into that, only, Congressman. Only because, well, because of what uh, what happened in the media. The yes, of, exactly. Well, the media, but correct. It's not correct. like he ran for public office. I, exactly, but Congressman Nunes is unmistakably uh, a public figure, and I'm sure his lawyers know that, and they have to deal with it. Uh, McClatchy says this in a, in a comment on this: "We have no comment and stand behind the strong reporting uh, of the Fresno Bee." Well, see, because he's going to be calling out. Meanwhile, yesterday the president got a huge. Uh, a blow, a brushback pitch yeah. uh, from the courts who said his idea of keeping would-be uh, immigrants working their way to the border in Mexico while we decide their fate is unconstitutional. Keeping would-be immigrants whose origin is not Mexico. So the president's real beef is people from Central America making their way through Mexico and knocking at the door in Texas. Because if they were from Mexico and they unmistakably are unqualified. They don't claim asylum and they have no right to get in under any other part of the law. They can be sent right back over the border. But if they're from another country, they can't be sent to Mexico. They have to be, de yeah. have to be detained until they have a hearing. And then the president says, there's probably not enough judges in the country. So he's going to work his way up the ladder now. Yes. So gonna... what happens in the meantime? Could we keep him in Mexico while it works his way through the system? No. The, no, I've, I've never seen an injunction stop. like this. Not only did, the, did this judge stop it, but he ordered the people who actually filed the suit readmitted within 48 hours. Activist courts. Where is this going to go? The president's favorite circuit court of appeals, the Ninth Circuit, which will probably uphold it. We laugh at this. It happens so frequently. And then eventually the Supreme Court. How long will that take? year and a half. Congress could change the law and boom. Yeah, yes, and the judge said that. Look, the judge said, I'm not, I'm not ruling on this because I want to do it or because I, uh, I'm, I'm passing judgment on the law. I'm just following what Congress wrote. Was it this Congress? Yep. It was the last time they looked at this in 1986. Okay. Thank you so much, Pleasure, judge. guys. Brian, that's a lot in one segment. Right, you really did, <laughs> Judge. We should give you a little bit extra money.
<laughs> yeah, you're very proud of yourself. Cheryl Atkinson on with me today on Liberty File Fox about Nation. how on Fox Nation about how the government spied on her and the difficulties she's having suing the government. I'm going to get the app just for that. Thank you, Brian. All right. Thank you, Judge. So Thank good. you, Judge.